We are really pro the PNW. Uh, we feel that the people here are just much more committed uh, at a customer level and at a community level uh, than we're seeing elsewhere. When we call in and we're looking for problem resolutions or support or assistance, we actually get a return call. Uh, we get support, people are quick to react. Uh, we're, we're really big on relationships, that's our business, uh, and service and providing that value and the port seems to be aligned with that. The market is really focused on last mile delivery right now. And in the last mile delivery is how quick can you get it there? And we really see the opportunity moving upstream. We see that some of the backlog and some of the inventory control and some of the cost controls are really from the vessel end. Our whole program is really assisting, managing, and expediting off of the vessel. Um, and where the consumer sees that is they can see lower cost, uh, absolutely to the shelf, uh, because we're trying to trim transit times, we're trying to reduce uh, inventory control spends, and we're trying to go direct to market, meaning less transportation miles and less time on the roof. By opening up here in the Northwest, it allows us to take hot orders, we'll identify them while they're in transit, and we'll pull those orders off and we'll move those direct to market. And the bundled goods that go back to the Midwest then are for inventory and for replenishment purposes. So this really does uh, identify a speed to market opportunity, it really does lower carrying costs, and it really puts the, um, the importer in control of their supply chain. We're going to start moving a lot of our transload capacity down into this facility. We're going to move it closer to the port so that we can make more turn times off the facility and we can increase our production. Uh, this is really going to be a turn facility. There's not going to be a lot of activity on the floor, pick, pack, ship type of uh, programs. It's really going to be container in and trailer out type of activity. We've had a really long relationship with the Seaport Alliance. Uh, I started this company back in 1988. We started in Seattle. Uh, so our relationships actually span back to that period of time. Uh, over the period of time, the Seaport has really changed their dynamic. Uh, they really made a commitment to the community um, and uh, being able to provide uh, better relationships and improve the capacity and capability over the port. Uh, the new Seaport Alliance has really turned out to be more than promising. They've met their commitments. Uh, we've developed some really strong uh, relationships that we've been able to, to move up the chain and as a result we're deepening our commitment and we're broadening our footprint down here.